I'd like to ask you a little bit about uh, your emotional life, um, feelings that you have, or, or how you feel about feelings and things. Uh, just from the little that you know you told me over the phone. Well. seems like I have a problem. There's a certain structured way that I have to approach everything if I'm going to keep myself at the position that I'm at. So what happens to you if uh, some of the stuff you told me about, um, feelings come up to you? It seems it, it becomes a motivating force that just completely disrupts the order that so you I have and that I have to adhere to. So you find feelings disruptive? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, is, it, is it conflicting with uh, your work or with your home life or, or both? What, how is it disrupting and what is it disrupting? Well, it's... I told you my physician suggested we go through with uh -huh. this. Uh, they seem to come out at the most inopportune time, at the most inappropriate times. Uh -huh. It's been quite a while since I've had a good night's sleep. I've, uh, according to my wife, and I, I guess too, uh, according to me, I've, I've been waking up. I've, I've been screaming, waking myself up sometimes. Sometimes I'll wake up the children. Uh -huh. I'm scared. With dreams? Dreams, yes. Waking you up? Yeah. And what are they about? And can you remember the I dreams? really can't remember. You wake up, and that's it. They're gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I suppose I repress them right. to such an extent. It's an, it's an automatic reaction because it feels like that's what I... What I have to do. Uh -huh. 